Sometimes we wish we could indicate the progress of a task in a specific way. So far, we have kept using a GIF, but perhaps we would like to be able to indicate that if we have 100 asynchronous tasks to do, 30 out of 100 have already been done. One way to do this is with iProgress. What iProgress does is that it allows us to fire an event every time something happens. We can use it to report the progress of a set of tasks. Let's look at an example. Let's say that we want to show the progress of our car processing operation. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use iProgress so that we're going to fill a progress bar on the screen. So let's use a progress bar. Let's go to the solution explorer and let's go to our form. And here below the GIF, we're going to open the toolbox and we're going to write progress from progress bar. And we're going to drag this here and I will make this as the same width as the loading GIF. I'll press F4 and I will say the following. The name is going to be PG cards and I'll press enter and I'll save. And now let's go back here to the code behind and we're going to go up here and we're going to use the iProgress interface. Let's instantiate here progress report equal to new progress and we have to indicate what value we are going to use to indicate progress. For example, we're going to use percentages so an int should suffice because it will be a number from 0 to 100. And here we have to pass an action, which is going to be the method that is going to run whenever we want to display an update to the user. So let's create a method here. Let's say private void report car processing progress. And the input data type is going to be an int. We're going to say percentage. And we're going to say here pg cards dot value equal to the percentage that we sent. Now let's go up here and let's pass that method as a parameter report car processing progress. And now every time we use the progress report, we are going to fire this method that we have here. Now we need to send this progress as a parameter here. So I will say progress report. And of course we will get an error here because we need to add that as a parameter. And I will say I progress in and I will just call it progress and by default it is going to be null and now I am going to do the following. I am going to create a variable here which I'll call index and I will use it in a minute. After the await I am going to report a progress because if we get to this line of code then it means that the HTTP request was processed though I will have to save this in a variable so I will say internal task equal to and I will say return internal task and this should be internal so let's write internal here and here we're going to do the reporting of the progress so I will say if progress is not null because we know that our progress variable could be null maybe the client of the method does not want to report progress so that is something that we have to keep in mind here I will say index plus plus, I will use the index variable in order to keep count of how many tasks has been resolved. So we could actually change this name to something more meaningful like task resolved. And then I will say var percentage equal to double task resolved divided by the amount of cards that there are in our list of strings. Now we'll say percentage equal to percentage times 100 and I will cast this as an int so I will say percentage int equal to int math round percentage zero and finally I will say progress dot report dot percentage int because we need to pass an int to the method that does the reporting and this is actually it with this every time we finish the process of an HTTP request, then a percentage will be calculated and it will be reported to the user. Let's see an example. Let's press Ctrl F5 to run our application and let's click on start. As you can see, we have here our progress bar. 
we will make it invisible by default but for now let's just see that this works let's click on start and as you can see we have that it is progressing and with this the user can know more details about the progress of the task so let's close this and let's go back to visual studio by default we want to make the progress bar invisible so let's go here to design let's press f4 here and let's go to visible and we will make it false it is false now but besides that i want to do something else not only i want to make it visible when we click on the button so let's say pg cars visible equal to true and then i want to make it invisible at the end but i also want to reset the value to zero so i want to say pg cards value equal to zero so that every time we rerun the method then we can be sure that the progress bar will start from zero now i will increase this to something like 5000 and let's make another run just to see that everything is working before moving on let's click on start and as you can see we have the progress bar moving to the right and it is progressing and it is almost finishing and it finished so as you can see with iProgress we can report the progress of a set of asynchronous tasks